Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll give you my input on the new happy uh, feature from Script Runner. Basically we are going through, the, uh, through an old script template that I created last year and we'll try to trim it down and uh, to use the new happy feature from Script Runner and we shall see the end result in this video. So uh, let's start. So as you can see on my screen, basically this is like the face of the marketing campaign from Script Runner uh, with this new feature that they uh, released called Happy. Basically, I'd, when I'm making this video, it's like one month old or maybe more. Uh, but I really wanted to make this video in order to see and test if this is true. Uh, they say that the scripts can now be up to 70% shorter. So that's a that's a W. If this is true, that's a W. So uh, what I'm going to do now, like I'm doing, uh, I was doing this offline uh, and changed an old script that I created last year, basically that creates a, a subtask in a post function. So as you can see here on my GitHub repository, I have this script that creates a subtask and actually it copies all the um, custom fields and the system fields that are on that specific issue type where you are creating the subtask. And also it copies the attachment with this part. So uh, it's basically 90 lines of 91 lines of code uh, with like pause breaks, but doesn't matter. Like, it, like you usually comment code when you're creating it. So even with the comments or without, it's like 91 um, lines of code. And what I did, I tried to replicate and to implement the happy feature into this and like basically transcribe and update the whole script to have the same end result to create a subtask and copy all the uh, custom fields and system fields and also the attachments uh, into the uh, into the subtask basically so what i did i basically uh let me see where it is so it's this one so basically, this is the new one that I created with Happy, and uh, you can see here that it's much more readable. I trimmed it down to 44 lines of code. So basically, this is like half of the code. It's not 70%. I think it I could make it to 70% shorter because, for example, instead of parent summary here, uh, which I defined here with issue get summary, I can actually get issue get summary and just paste it here and I don't need to have like the, the line from 23 here but it's I don't know for me it's much more readable like I did it without like trim it down to 70% but it's possible right so you can actually trim it down to 70% which is actually true like I could not believe it after I did it but actually creating this subtask and trying to change the actual code I discovered the huge bug. <laughs> I, uh, if you are sticking to the end of this video, I'll show you the bug. It's pretty funny. I had like a lot of fun creating this, but I want to make a side of side comparison. So basically on the right side, we have the old template code that I created last year using the Java API. And um, as you can see, it's like 90, 91 lines. And on the left side, it's uh, 44 right so it's a huge improvement i tried to be like not to try not to give like a lot of comments here to like raise the lines of code but i will just trying to ba basically make like simpler and it actually works like i cannot believe it like this is huge w for script runner like i like we all know why they implement this like with all these things with automation where you can do so many things only from the ui and not caring about the groovy or anything like not all the people are experts in groovy and uh, they just want to make this simpler for like any jira administrator and to be much easier for any jira administrator to create basically these uh, automations in workflows or any kind of I, I, i'm i'm guessing how this is will work in behaviors I'm guessing like this is the same. I will try basically to to see how this is working. But uh, yeah, uh, script runner happy new feature. It's good or bad. I think it's the W. So I think it's good 
uh, I think they will actually uh, update this feature and I don't know, like I, I'll actually discover the bug. Maybe there are like, I know that the script runner team is aware of these bugs. So I think they are like constantly fixing the, those bugs and also adding more features. So I think with this issue create and also you have uh, you can uh, search by JKL. So basically you have a lot of things here. If you are checking the happy documentation, you have a bunch of stuff, but I think they will go further and they will raise the bar up and just basically try to make it better and to be much more human readable and to get away of this Java API as much as possible in order for all the people that are working with Jira, all the Jira administrator can be able actually to uh, to use script runner. So this is huge W. I just I will actually uh, update in the in my uh, GitHub repository with uh, the happy version of this script, so you all have it, so you can all use it. Um, but we, before we close the video, like I give my input, this happy it's a huge W. I really like it. Uh, I guess that this it goes into the right direction. Um, and oh, let me test how the subtask is working. So I have this create subtask. So basically this is a transition. So be behind this transition, there is a post function. So that was the post function with the new code. I'm clicking create subtask. And as you can see, subtask for happy parent testing subtask. And if I open it, as you can see, it copies the components and the priority, it gets the the summary here and also he took the attachment which is love script runner <laughs> yeah so uh i don't know before i'm closing this video i also want to show the bug because i promised right so uh actually in the uh, in the console i just so when i was trying to replicate and to update an old script with the new happy feature i didn't realize that actually like the behind uh, code for creating a subtask, it's using the issue where you are, you are like the parent issue, and you have this dot create subtask, and you are giving the subtask as a string. But I I thought that it actually like it's like the simple one where you are creating your in the console you are giving like you are creating a task or an epic, and you are just giving you need to give the project key and the issue type name, which is like defined above here. And I didn't realize, and for example, now I have the exact same code that I have on the, on the post functions, on the post function and uh, on the same issue key. So if I try now to run this, I get an error, right? And the error says that the issue type is a subtask, but parent issue key or ID is not specified. So I thought, okay, so this is like a bug from them, like why this is not working because it doesn't make any sense. And I actually um, got through the documentation and they had some examples there and I found out that there, there is this create subtask, which I, I wasn't aware, but I actually tried to <laughs> go further and actually break it, right? Because instead of issue type name, which is subtask, I just change it with, uh, so if I'm typing here, as you can see, it also gives you like uh, the issue types that you have in this project here. So I'm, I, I will actually choose Epic. So I have not right now the project key, which is creating like an Epic in this project key. And I set the reporter, assignee and so on, components, custom field value. Oh, and I actually need to set, uh, so you can see now live the Epic name which is a string and I will set it to uh, just the parent summary. So I will set it to the parent summary so you can see how uh, in live this is working. So now basically we're creating a subtask, but it's not the subtask, it's an epic, right? But now we are copying the attachments with this part, but we are actually using the Java API, which is the from the component accessors to create the subtask uh, issue link between uh, our issue, which is like a, a story, which is this one, not this one. I unclose that one. So you can see here we have only one subtask here. 
So this is super funny. Like I, I'm actually bursting out laughing. How I realized to how I, I break this thing, this thing, right? So now if I'm, I click run, so I, I click run, right? So now it created an issue called Scrum, which is the, like the key of the project and 23. So if I'm <laughs> refreshing this, you can see that <laughs> I, actually just, I created an epic as a subtask in a story. <laughs> like what the hell is even this? Because basically this is like using the Java API to create this subtask uh, issue link that uh, was in the in the old uh, in the old script, right? In the old script template. So I didn't know that there is an option to create a subtask with the, this new happy feature, right? I didn't know. So I got this error and now <laughs> I basically can create like a subtask as any issue type. So I can actually change this. Uh, let me change it to a task, right? So this is so funny, man. I cannot. <laughs> so right now, basically, I'm commenting this so because we don't have an epic name in task. So if I run this, it actually creates a issue. <laughs> Jesus. Because you, you cannot, if you are using the UI, I don't know if this was happening in the past. I, I didn't test it, like, but I don't think so. So if you're trying to create a subtask, right, with this plus in this issue, in Scrum 19, you don't have any other issues because those other issues are not correlated to a subtask. So there's only the subtask. But you actually, so if I'm opening an epic, you can see that it copied everything and it actually has this, like you can click on this. Like it's, <laughs> so yeah, oh, like, I don't know, like I'm super happy that I found this. Like I, this is like a critical bug. This should not happen anywhere, right? So I actually can, change this to a story so if i run this it creates a story so we have a story as a subtask in another story how cool is that <laughs> i actually i'm bursting out laughing because i i never saw this like i never saw this so this is happening you can create now i think i think it's a new feature from jira right like you can create any issue as a subtask you don't care like uh, I, I know that maybe they are aware of this bug. I don't know. I, I, I am basically speechless like uh, that I discovered this. But yeah, I I hope that you <laughs> you laugh with me about this. Like this is so, I know it's so random. It's super random. But I just wanted to uh, to make this video in order to give myself like a feedback of this uh, new feature from Scripter. And I'm super happy. Uh, happy. I'm happy. This is happy. Oh, that the word play here it's unbelievable <laughs> so uh, actually in the future i will uh, like in the following days i am i will go through all my templates that i have created in the in my github uh, Git, github so in uh, the section of script runner i'll try to go through each of them to see uh, how can i change them accordingly to uh, to this happy feature and i will actually give you uh, templates with my old scripts to uh, update it to the to happy and yeah that's pretty much it for uh, today's video i hope this was a good video for you and uh, you have like a nice information if you have any questions related for uh, related to this video any other topic regarding jira script runner you can find me on discord you can see uh, the link to my discord every time in each of my videos you can actually post a comment below and uh, yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to like the video if you like it press the subscribe button and uh, i see you in the next video peace